This is a performance video for the G751JY ASUS laptop. It contains the GeForce GTX 980M, and I am grateful to say the performance is pretty good. As you can see, this is Shadow of Mordor. I'm running the benchmark test. Now, keep in mind the benchmark test is a little bit more heavy than regular gameplay. Uh, after the benchmark test, I do have some regular gameplay to actually show you. Um, but as you can tell, actually, even with recording through Shadowplay, which is taking a few frames off, the performance is really great for a laptop. Uh, I'm pleased with this laptop. Uh, the only unpleasing part about it so far has probably been the price tag. Although, with this much mobile power, considering it also doubles as a workstation, it is a pretty good, pretty good deal. Um, 24 gigs of RAM overall. I'll put some of the specs in the description below. Now, with regular gameplay, I have noticed that I do get something like not exactly significant frame rate when I have Shadow Play off, but it does seem to run a little bit smoother. So, in the video, you'll notice the gameplay looks pretty good. Uh, definitely not 60 frames a second uh, all the time. I would say an average with Shadow Play recording gameplay would be about 45 frames a second. I was overall very, very pleased with it, um, and I I would use this laptop, honestly, I have a, a Verki Beacon backpack, and I would carry this to the college, and I'd probably game on this on my free time, as well as uh, do a few videos in between, and I'm, I'm very pleased with the performance so far. So later on, um, you'll be seeing uh, the Tomb Raider uh, 2013 benchmark and some gameplay from that. But I noticed that there are very few videos out on YouTube of the G751JY ASUS laptop. And I thought I would get a few out there. Um, now, keep in mind, uh, just, I said this at the beginning, I'll say it one more time. This is not the version with the 880M. This is the 980M. So this is a newer version of the laptop. Uh, it's been great so far. If you're planning on getting it, I would say... Either get the version that is on the, I think it's $14.99, and then just upgrade it, which would be amazing too. I think that version actually comes with 16 gigs of RAM compared to the 24 this one comes with. But then again, I'll link both in the description through Amazon. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, you'll hear me again at the Tomb Raider video. So now we're going to take a look at some of the Tomb Raider gameplay, and if you can already notice, most of the settings are set to really, really high settings, ultra. Uh, some of them are as far as they can go, some of them are not. I do have Tresfex on, which if you're aware of, ATI cards seem to do a lot better with. NVIDIA cards, not so much. However, GeForce Experience decided to say Tresfex was a thing I could put on with the 980M. That's impressive to me. 
and I also have VSync off and motion blur off, which if I don't know why anyone would want motion blur, I take it off. But here we go running the benchmark, and I ran this earlier, and I got some got some higher numbers, uh, and that was mainly because shadow play was off. With it on, I'm still going to get some pretty decent numbers, but with it off, I would get, I think the average FPS I had was like 70.26 something like that. It was, it was really decent frame rate. Well, decent, actually, it was like perfect. Uh, anything above 60 is awesome. The game is beautiful. I haven't played a whole lot of Tomb Raider, and I kind of regret that now, but I think I'll be playing a little bit more of it since I have this mobile game station now that I can maybe take some time and play it on the go. In another video, I'll talk about battery boost after I understand a little bit better. Uh, but from what I understand, the, obviously the game is going to run better if you have the laptop charger plugged in. If you don't, there is a way to get a target frame rate, and I believe the minimum target is 30 FPS. There are the numbers from this benchmark right there. But the m minimum target frame rate you can have without the charger run is 30 FPS, and it'll try to keep up with that. But from what I understand, looking at a few videos, it appears that your laptop does not live for long uh, if you do that. So don't expect a whole lot of battery life out of it if you choose to not have the charger in, because a lot of power has to go to the 980M, as well as the processor and other parts of the computer. So as you can see, here's some gameplay, and as you notice probably with Shadow Mordor and Tomb Raider, I am using an Xbox 360 controller. I could have used just a wireless keyboard and separately played with that and a mouse, but I chose to use the 360 controller as kind of just convenience, it was around. I gotta say, one thing with Tomb Raider though that I'm curious about and I might end up doing a comparison video is the comparison with the Definitive Edition on the PS4 and the PC Edition, because one thing in PS4 Edition that I saw was volumetric fog like a lot more fog than what i've seen in the pc version but I, I, there are other things in the ps4 version they just don't look as good and i, I really want to do comparison for that i may do that in the future i know tomb raider is sort of this old game however tomb raider is pretty valid for benchmarks and how uh graphics cards will perform especially sli because tomb raider is a beast at sli scaling I may do some of that in the future, considering my home rig, just my old desktop, old desktop, ha ha ha, um, has SLI GTX 970s in it, and uh, currently I have my CPU, not overclocked exactly, but I have permanent turbo on, is what I'm going to call it, because it's not a K version, so I've been running at 3.9 all of the time, and an EVO 212 cooler on that, which definitely helps out. But overall, I'm thoroughly impressed with this machine. If this were a desktop, I would not stop trying to upgrade it to the point where 60 FPS would be my goal. Um, either that or above 60. But being that it is a laptop, I'm fine with the fact that it doesn't reach 60 all the time, even when I'm recording. I might do just some of the gameplay recording uh, from this laptop in particular. It is a really nice laptop. Uh, I as you can see, performance is pretty good. I'll do other videos in performance. If you have any other games you want to see performance in, then go ahead and message me, because there need to be a few more videos on this laptop out there and, you know, showing what FPS is going to be like. Because I think people are going to really look at this laptop and say, this this will probably be my first gaming laptop, considering, I, I in my opinion, the 900 series video cards in the laptops are bridging the gap between desktop and mobile, and that is... That's a huge thing, because if you talk to someone from PC Master Race, matter of fact, when I posted, hey, I'm looking for a laptop, they said, well, with that budget, why don't you just go for a, a rig? And, of course, my response was, oh, I already have a beast rig, SLI 970s, oh, PC Master Race. But other than that, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with 
this performance. I, yeah, I, I can't say anything. Would have done the 970 SLI, but wasn't available. So thank you guys. This is Mouse. Bye.